go. <laughs> you did it. You did it. That's right. You got a seat at the table. You got a seat at the table. Congratulations. You did it. But wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it the right table? Are you at the right table? I mean, how important is it really to grab a seat at the table anyway, when you think about it, right? Is it really that important that we get a seat at the table? Look, this is what we're going to talk about today, that and more here on today's episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? See, there's no excuse for you not pushing yourself to the next level. In order for you to create a new you, you must have a new mindset. When teams come together, we can create things that are greater than the sum of all of their parts. Welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to eight, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? Dude, today is Tuesday. That's right, today is Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. And what's crazy is today is the very first and the very last time it'll ever be Tuesday, March 2nd. 2021. So I want to make sure we make the absolute most, and I do mean the absolute most of this absolutely incredible, incredible day. Hey, over on Clubhouse this morning, we started at 5 a.m. and Joy and Scott and Steve, my friends, they've been talking about their mamas. Man, this is Women's History Month where we recognize great women in history. And so I just want to give a shout out to my mama because they got me all up in my fields this morning. I'm over here trying to build this production for hashtag Raz and and they got me over here emotional. So shout out to mama because my mama watches every single episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind. That's right. If, can any of you claim that you've seen all 818 episodes? Because my mama sure can. She's got, she's got my back. <laughs> she's got my back. No doubt about it. So shout out to her on this Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. Listen, it is Tuesday and you are currently sitting at the largest breakfast table in the world. That's where you're at right now. I mean, we are talking about, as a matter of fact, we just, we, as I said, good morning to some of the people in the clubhouse this morning, we went from Dubai to London to LA, right? We're all over the place. You are currently sitting at the largest breakfast table in the world. This is a, a breakfast table that stretches all the way from where I am right here in Lexington, Kentucky, down into Tennessee. It goes across over to California. Then it makes its way back over to New York, goes on down to Florida and then it stretches across the pond to places like London and Dubai and Australia and all over the place, man. It's beautiful, really, if you think about it. It's really beautiful. I mean, we're talking about a breakfast table where people from all different walks of life are gathered in one place. From 16-year-olds who technically aren't supposed to be on Clubhouse, <laughs> right? From the 16-year-olds that technically aren't supposed to be on there all the way to the 80-year-olds that are struggling to find the share button on Facebook. I even just saw my wife pop in here. Good morning, honey. She's not on here very often. She must be up with that new baby. 
There's scientists that are here on the platform. There are Darwinists that are here on the platform. There are atheists that are here at the breakfast table with us. There are Buddhists that are here at the at the at the breakfast table with us there are, are muslims that are here at the breakfast table with us there are christians that are here at the breakfast table with us and everything in between all sitting at the largest breakfast table in the world it's incredible it's incredible. There are smart people that have joined us here at the breakfast table this morning. There are not so smart people that have joined us here at the breakfast table. If you're looking around going right now going, hmm, where's the not so smart people? Well, maybe that it might be you. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There are loud people that are here on the uh, at the breakfast table, like this guy named Glenn Lundy that screams at you at 5.30 in the morning. There are soft-spoken people that are here at the breakfast table. And my wife just commented and said that my son, Joel, is here at the breakfast table. Good morning, son. Great to see you. Can't wait to, to hug you and have breakfast with you this morning when I get back home. There are sharks that are here at the breakfast table. There are urchins that are here at the breakfast table. There are dolphins that are here at the breakfast table. And there are whales that are here at the breakfast table. There are flamingos. There are turtles, there are chameleons, there are gorillas, whatever the personality types or tests that you've taken, whatever those animals are, they're all, they're all here at the table. This morning here at the breakfast table, Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021, we have rich people at the breakfast table. There's also poor people at the breakfast table. We have some people at the breakfast table that are completely and utterly broke. And then we have some people at the breakfast table that are incredibly wealthy, incredibly wealthy. There are black people at the breakfast table this morning. There are white people at the breakfast table this morning. There are Asian people at the breakfast table this morning. There are Hispanic people at the breakfast table this morning. There are Indian people at the breakfast table this morning. We got all types of people at the breakfast table this morning, man. All types of people at the largest breakfast table in the world. All types of people. And what's crazy is they're all here eating off the same trays, right? We're, we're each eating off the, the, we've got a tray of motivation. We've got a, a tray of education. We've got a tray of inspiration. And everybody, all, all the different types of people with all the different belief systems from all the different backgrounds, from all the different age groups, they're all eating off these same trays of motivation, education, inspiration. They all have the same desire. The same desire to rise every single day with intention and purpose. They're all at the breakfast table with the same desire to evolve into the absolute best versions of themselves that they can possibly be. They're all sitting around this same breakfast table with this, 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 this urge to go out and make an impact to make a difference, to have significance. And so what's incredible is all these different people from all these different backgrounds with all these different belief systems that look different and think different, we all have that one thing in common. We all have the desire to be significant and to make an impact together. <laughs> You see, together, unified, we've become like this powerful force. 
we really have a be become a powerful force. This this breakfast table that stretches around the world is strong, man. It is strong. Believe me, you. It is drawing the attention of people. Like it is drawing the attention of those that can really help fuel this breakfast table and spread it around the world. I'm getting phone calls like you guys wouldn't believe. I'm getting messages like you guys wouldn't believe. Connections are happening, relationships, conversations, all of the energy that exists around this breakfast table of people who don't care what you look like and don't care what you believe in and don't care where you come from, but ultimately just want to help you evolve into the best version of you so we can make an impact, right? It's powerful. It's strong. It is this Force that is just trying to draw people in that can help fuel it. And as well as drawing and attracting people in, it has also built this strength. It's fortified its borders. So it has the strength to defeat those that are coming against it. You see, unified together, people with different beliefs, different backgrounds, different experiences unified together. Ooh, that's strong. It's hard to tear that down. It's hard to break that apart. It's hard to compete against that. And what's incredible is each individual member of the breakfast table, each individual member is made stronger ultimately by the whole of the team. As the team gets stronger, each individual member starts to level up. You see, it's really interesting. We rise together. We evolve together. And we go out and make an impact together. You see, this is why it's so important for you to get a seat at the table. It is so incredibly important for you to get a seat at the table. Here's the facts. Those with a seat at the table are stronger. Those with a seat at the table are less prone to disaster. Those who have a seat at the table, they accelerate faster. Those who have a seat at the table, they have the luxury of access to little known information that that information alone can completely change generations. Generations. You see, getting a seat at the table is one of the most important things that you can do in your life. The key though, is you gotta make sure it's the right table. Now, before I go too far into this, which maybe I already have, <laughs> but before I go too far, there's something we got to do on this show every single day. There's there, there's something we do. You know, you know what we got to do. That's right. That's right. We dance. <laughs> we dance. We might get a little serious up in here. We might get into some motivation, some education, some inspiration. But we always got to take time to get the body moving. Right? I believe that an object in motion tends to stay in motion and an object at rest tends to stay at rest. So we gotta get this body of ours moving. We gotta get it shaking. And what better way to do that than a little bit of dancing, right? We can get some dancing in, we can get our moving, we can get our move on, get our shake on, get the blood pumping, get the, or get the blood flowing and the heart pumping, right? Let's do that right now. This is also the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. If you're on Facebook or Instagram, share it out. If you're on Clubhouse, I need you to hit the plus sign. Go ahead and hit that plus sign and bring some people into the room. We're gonna change the way they start their day. This is also the part of the show where I say good morning to you and you say good morning to me. Whether you're watching live or you're watching on replay, no matter where you are, I wanna connect with you. If you're down, if you're listening to the podcast, say what's up. If you're watching on YouTube, say what's up. I wanna connect with you. It's all about the relationships. Right now, I see Mr. Mike Overfelt is in the house. Sarabi Das is in the house. What's up, Vicki Everett? How you doing, Tina Bacon? We got Terry Collins in the house. Tamika Anderson's up in here. Tony Kretz, Wendy Reeves, Brad Smith. I see Miss Gerben over there on Instagram and Miss Lady Bridget. I also see Arjuin One is up there. Having Techniques 
We've got Dave B31. We've got Loke So Love is up in the house. I also see Sean Weatherby and Krista Bug. What up, Krista Bug? We've got Gina Duffy is in the house. Emily Gowler, we're still looking for Will Smith. Emily, we're still looking for Will Smith. If we can get him up in here, that would be great. We got Spencer Nicholson is up in the house. And then, of course, over on Clubhouse, on the stage, we got Tamara and Scott and Simon and my man, Fireman Bands, is up in the house. Alyssa's up in here. We've got Scott and Diani and Stormy is in the house. Martina and Treva and Michelle and Charisma. We've got Vernell and Rick and Mr. Paul Daly is up in the house. What's up, Malcolm and Jody? All kinds of folks over on Clubhouse joining us here at the breakfast table. Listen, listen, dude. All right, I need you to mark your calendar. I'm gonna turn down the music just a little bit because I need you to mark your calendars. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. This week, you know how I was saying, you know how I was saying that this table is starting to attract some people that can really fuel this breakfast? Well, this week, actually Thursday, Mr. Tim Story, that's right, Tim Story, celebrity coach, Oprah Winfrey's life coach, is going to be joining us on Clubhouse with Breakfast with Champions. He'll be here on Thursday. Now, also on Thursday, Mr. J. Abraham is going to be joining us on Breakfast with Champions. You're going to want to mark your calendars for that over on Clubhouse. And on Friday, <laughs> on Friday, the one and only Les Brown is going to be joining us on Clubhouse on Friday. I cannot wait. So you make sure you mark your calendars. You do not want to miss Thursday and Friday on Breakfast with Champions. On top of that, today, my man Corey Warfield is going to be joining us. 272,000 followers. 272,000 followers on LinkedIn. He is going to be joining us today over on Clubhouse as well. So make sure you hang around. All right, share it out. Let's grow. Let's dive in. Getting a seat at the table, how incredibly important it is, and making sure you're at the right table is just as important. For hundreds of years, black people were not allowed to take a seat at the table. Simple as that. For hundreds of years, black people were not allowed to have a seat at the table. They weren't allowed to walk through certain doors. They weren't allowed to drink from certain fountains. They weren't allowed to sit in certain spots. They weren't allowed to go to certain schools. They weren't allowed to be a part of the conversations. They were not allowed to have a seat at the table. They simply weren't allowed. There were Jim Crow laws in effect that kept it that way. Before Jim Crow laws, there was things like slavery that kept it that way. They simply weren't allowed. They did not have access to the education or the conversations or the strategies that other people of different colors had. Fact. They did not have access to conversations about wealth that were being had at the table. They did not have access to strategies about generational building that other people had at the table. They did not have access to the business conversations of the business leaders of the times. They simply didn't have access. They didn't have access to conversations about money and how to build money and what to do with money. They didn't have any of those conversations. They were not privy to that for hundreds of years. Now, fast forward to today and 2.2%, 2.2% 2 .2 
of businesses owned in America are owned by black people. 2.2%. You see, not being a part of those conversations for hundreds of years, it matters. It matters. It has made a massive impact. Now, I'm not saying all this to spark some type of debate or some type of conversation of what opportunities exist today that didn't exist before. I'm not, I'm not here to talk about any of that. I'm here to talk about the importance of getting a seat at the table and being at the right table and the long-term effects that that can have. And by not getting a seat at the table, the generational impact that that can have. Not being a part of those conversations has mattered. 2.2% of businesses are black owned. You see, the lesson that I want you to learn and walk away with today is proximity is power. There is so much power in proximity. Just being close. Being close to those that maybe do what you wish you could do, those that are reaching levels you wish you could reach, just being close in proximity is, is, is powerful. There's also power in association, being associated with the right people, being associated with those that are making an impact, that are doing positive things, being associated with those that are going to lift you up and not tear you down. Your associations matter. You see, I'm going to give you an example. There was three gentlemen, three gentlemen, and they were out and they had been drinking and they decided, uh, one of the gentlemen in the car decided, hey, you know what? I got a good idea. Let's go in here. We're going to rob this liquor store. And so the three of them go and two of the young men go into the liquor store to rob the liquor store. And while they're in there robbing the, the, the liquor store, which this video actually is looks a little bit different. But anyway, the, most of y'all can't see the video anyway. So as they're in there robbing the liquor store, unbeknownst to two of the men, the third man decided that he was going to pull the trigger and take somebody's life. And that's what happened. That's what went down. Regretfully, three, three people involved. A fourth is a victim. He gets shot. There's one man in the store with the other dude. He had no idea this dude was going to shoot this dude, but he was in the store with the dude. And then you got one guy in the car. Fast forward, they get caught. They go to court. The one dude who shot the dude gets life in prison. The guy that was in the store with him that had no idea he was going to shoot the guy gets 60 years in prison. The guy who was just sitting in the car and pulled up and had no idea that they were even doing a robbery, he was completely guilt-free, like had no idea what was going on. He got seven years in prison. You see, proximity matters. There's also guilt by association. If there are people in your life that are toxic and your life happens to be toxic, you must take some, you must look in the mirror and reflect and take some of the blame. You can't constantly play the victim card and say, well, I didn't know. You knew there were signs, there were clues that you were sitting at the wrong table. You see, just because he didn't know, he was guilty anyway. And the same is true in reverse when it comes to things that are positive in your life. You see, Clubhouse and Facebook and hashtag Rise and Grind and our group, all of these things are an example. They're an example of this. Association, association gets you elevated on the Clubhouse platform. Associations can get you elevated, connecting with right people, serving the right people, getting in proximity with the right people. It can literally get you elevated. That's how the platform works. You get brought up and you're followed by a speaker. Next thing you know, you're on a stage. It's exactly how it works. You get elevated through proximity and association. And now it can also be detrimental for you. If you're in proximity or associating with the wrong people, it can have the exact same effect. Listen, proximity is everything and association is what literally unlocks the doors. Our Rise and Grind group on Facebook is incredible. Over 30,000 members. 
that have, have created this safe place, safe place online with nothing but motivation, education, inspiration, nothing else. Motivation, education, inspiration. There's nothing else in there. And when you connect with people in the Rise and Grind group, you literally are elevated. We rise together. It's incredible. So it's important that you understand those two powers, the power of proximity and the power of association, because ultimately they can be a detriment to your game or the main elevator of your success. I challenge you to work your stinking tail off. Work your tail off to earn a seat at the table. The table that you choose, whatever that table looks like for you. I want you to work your tail off to earn a seat at the table and ultimately have a choice of which table you sit at versus having to sit in the seat that you were assigned. You see, you get to choose. Black, white, Asian, Hispanic, Indian, young, old, no matter what you believe, you get to choose. Too many of us think that life is like a wedding where you have your little tag, your name tag, and you've been assigned a certain table and therefore you have to sit there the rest of your life. And I'm just here to tell you, no, 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 no. You see the, the assignments that were, they were, that were given to you by the, by the world, your earthly assignments have nothing to do with your divine assignment. You see, you are a child of God, the God of the universe, the God that made everything. And that God at birth gave you a divine assignment and, and the ability to choose. You get to choose who you have breakfast with every day. You get to choose which tables you sit at. You get to choose which opportunities you can unlock for yourself. No one else gets to make that choice for you. And when you make those good decisions, a decision to show up here early, a decision to hang out in the clubhouse, a decision to hang out and rise and grind. When, when you make those decisions, those seemingly small, getting around the right people, that proximity and that association ultimately makes an impact. It makes an impact on your friends, on your family members, on your coworkers. Hey, you showing up here and hanging out with me this morning has made an impact on me. And I, for one, absolutely stink and love you for it. I do. You have transformed and changed my life. Me getting in proximity with you has made a massive generational impact, not just on me, but also on my son who is currently watching episode 818 of Hashtag Rise and Grind. Look at the impact you're making in his life. So I absolutely stink and love you. I do. If nobody's told you that yet today, I want to be the first. I absolutely stink and love you. So get out there. Make your choice. Get in proximity, hold yourself accountable to your associations. And I want you to continue to rise, evolve, and make an impact. And the best part is we're going to do it together. If you need more videos like this, you can go to glennlundy.com. That's right. You can go to glennlundy.com. If you uh, haven't done so already, make sure you, oh. if you haven't done so already, Make sure you share it out. Make sure you drop me a comment. Make sure you drop me a line. I definitely want to connect with you. But most importantly, I hope you'll come back again tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. because we're going to do this all over again on hashtag rise and grind. If you guys want to hang out, if you have questions or comments, I'm going to head over to Clubhouse right now. I'll be hanging out in Clubhouse. We're there till 11 o'clock Eastern. My man, Corey Warfield will be on in about half hour or so. It's gonna be amazing. So if you wanna come hang out with me there, great. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow on Hashtag Rise and Grind. Have an incredible day. Good morning. All my people for the sunrise. Stepped into my greatness, feeling powerful and energized. Thanks for the being alive. 
hashtag blessed. Write my mission, vision, values in my gratitude list. I'm building up momentum. I'm making good decisions. I rise, I grind, I get it. Ain't no doubt that I'm committed. Cause who really loses if I don't win? Can't cheat the grind, only get what you put in. So I'm mastering my mental. I'm focused on my physical. I'm developing spiritually and manifesting miracles. I'm gonna get it started, have a party in the morning. And I'm gonna wake the world, it's so alarming. I have that rising grind. Stop, stop, get it, get it, get it. Don't stop, stop, get it, get it. Get it.